Okay, here's a little design for a uh, magnetic motor that utilizes gravity to assist it in its operation. Uh, the magnet uh, on this is mounted on a disc which rotates with the north pole facing outwards. Um, there are magnets mounted around the periphery of the disc in a slowly um, in closing in system so that as the disc rotates clockwise from the first magnet which is here around to the last magnet the magnetic field between the magnets on the disc and the outside periphery increases and uh, the disc tends to rotate. Now I've also got an additional magnet at the bottom here uh, which is the other way around uh, so that when the disc gets to the the magnet gets to the bottom of the uh, system there's actually a repulsive field which pushes the magnet back up and forces the uh, the disc back in to the system of magnets on the left hand side. On the right hand side uh, when the disc gets to the final magnet uh, we actually mount it vertically and gravity will pull it down and pull it back down to the bottom. When it reaches the bottom the maximum kinetic energy of the disc is reached and it goes through this gate and then is pushed back upwards again uh, and into the system thereby producing motion uh, which in theory should go on forever. Now in terms of the practical application of this uh, I've built something uh, along these lines. Now you can see the magnet at the bottom here uh, with the north pole facing up towards the disc and this is the disc and there's the magnet mounted on the disc and you can see the effect of repulsion on the disc from that magnet down there. Uh, there are only two magnets mounted in the system because I don't have sufficient at the moment. There's one up here and that's got the south pole facing inwards which will attract the magnet on the disc and there's another one over here which is the final magnet in the system. In the ideal world I'd have lots more magnets around here um, slowly getting closer as it goes around clockwise to the disc and uh, therefore increasing the field and pulling the, uh, the magnet into the system. So if I now rotate this, that point there, it's beginning to be attracted into the system. Unfortunately the, it's not behaving terribly well. Uh, and of course I do need more magnets to make it work properly, so I'm going to try and that I've mounted on isn't terribly rigid. But, so hopefully you get a general idea. Oops. Of course when the disc fills off that's not terribly helpful either is it? So from the position there, uh, all the, generally speaking, we would expect momentum of the disc and gravity to pull that weight down, down through the bottom and instead of getting stuck at the top like it did there and then dropping backwards the uh, increasing density of the magnetic field through here would bring it over the top back round and it would continue to rotate uh, indefinitely. So let's just try that one more time. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you get the general idea and uh, if somebody's got more magnets and can build this thing uh, in a more professional way than I can then please, uh, please feel free. I'd be delighted to see uh, to see what you get. But I can't help thinking that the combination of both gravity and uh, magnetic field attraction and repulsion uh, could go some way to making this uh, this particular motor a reality. Okay, thank you very much for watching.